Informatica is a software development company. Informatica was founded in 1993. Informatica is headquarters in Redwood City, California. The main core products are data integration and enterprise cloud data management. What is Informatica? Informatica is one of the most popular data integration tools. It is the best ETL tool in the market. The main products include ETL, data quality, data virtualization, data management, etc. It is capable of extracting data from multiple heterogeneous sources, transforming them as per business requirement and loading to target tables. It used in data migration and loading projects. What are typical use cases for Informatica? An organization migrate the existing legacy system mainframe to a new database system, so its migration on existing data into the system will performed. Enterprises maintenance data warehouse for an ETL tool is to move data from the production system to a warehouse. Data is used to integrate from several systems to multiple databases and Informatica uses a file-based system. Informatica will be used as a data cleansing tool. What are the top Informatic products? Enterprise Data Preparation Enterprise Data Catalog Power Center Big Data Management Big Data Streaming Connectors Accent Data Governance Customer 360 Multi-Domain MDM Data Integration Hub Secure Source Product 360 PIM Cloud Application Integration Data as a Service What are different types of transformations in Informatica? The various types of transformations are as follows. Source. Target. Cleanse. Data masking. Deduplicate. Aggregator. Expression. Normalizer. Rank transformation. Filter. Java. Input. Output. Parse. SQL web services. Verifier. Union. Transaction. Structure parser. Rule. Joiner. Lookup, sorter, router, sequence generator. Can you explain how does a pipeline partition improve performance? A pipeline partition lets you divide a pipeline into different reader transformation writer threads. The integration service can run the different partitions within the mapping at the same time, increasing efficiency. How many sessions can be grouped in a batch? There is no limit to the number of sessions that can comprise a batch. But the fewer the sessions, the easier the migration. Can you explain enterprise data warehousing? When the organization data is created at a single point of access, it is called as enterprise data warehousing. Data can be provided with a global view to the server via a single source store. One can do periodic analysis on that same source. It gives better results, but however, the time required is high. Some important features. All important business information stored in this unified database can be accessed from anywhere across the organization. Although the time required is more, periodic analysis on this single source always produces better results. Security and integrity of data are never compromised while making it accessible across the organization. What are the differences between a database, a data warehouse, and a data mart? Database includes a set of sensibly affiliated data which is normally small in size as compared to data warehouse. Data warehouse there are assortments of all sorts of data and data is taken out only according to the customer's needs. Data Mart is also a set of data which is designed to cater the needs of different domains. For instance, an organization having different chunk of data for its different departments i.e. sales, finance, marketing etc. What is a domain? When all related relationships and nodes are covered by a sole organizational point, it's called domain. Through this data management can be improved. What is the difference between a repository server and a powerhouse? Repository server controls the complete repository which includes tables, charts, and various procedures etc. Its main function is to assure the repository integrity and consistency. While a powerhouse server governs the implementation of various processes among the factors of server's database repository. What is use of partitioning a session? Partitioning a session means solo implementation sequences within the session. Its main purpose is to improve server's operation and efficiency. Other transformations including extractions and other outputs of single partitions are carried out in parallel. 
Can you explain how our index is created after completing the load process? For the purpose of creating indexes, after the load process, command tasks at session level can be used. Index creating scripts can be brought in line with the session's workflow or the post-session implementation sequence. Moreover, this type of index creation cannot be controlled after the load process at transformation level. Can you explain sessions? A teaching set that needs to be implemented to convert data from a source to a target is called a session. Session can be carried out using the sessions manager or PMC, MD, command. Batch execution can be used to combine sessions executions, either in serial manner or in a parallel. Batches can have different sessions carrying forward in a parallel or serial manner. How many numbers of sessions can one group in batches? One can group any number of sessions, but it would be easier for migration if the number of sessions is lesser in a batch. What is the difference between mapping parameter and mapping variable? When values change during the session's execution, it's called a mapping variable. Upon completion, the Informatica server stores the end value of a variable and is reused when session restarts. Moreover, those values that do not change during the session's execution are called mapping parameters. Mapping procedure explains mapping parameters and their usage. Values are allocated to these parameters before starting the session. What is the aggregator transformation? It allows one to do aggregate calculations such as sums, averages, etc. It is unlike expression transformation in which one can do calculations in groups. What is an expression transformation? Expression transformation is a connected, passive transformation used to calculate values on a single row before writing on the target in this form of transformation. It can be used to perform non-aggregate calculations. Conditional statements can also be tested before output results go to target tables. What is a filter transformation? It is a medium of filtering rows in a mapping. Data needs to be transformed through filter transformation, and then filter condition is applied. Filter transformation contains all ports of input-output, and the rows which meet the condition can only pass through that filter. What is joiner transformation? Joiner transformation combines two affiliated heterogeneous sources living in different locations, while a source qualifier transformation can combine data emerging from a common source. What is lookup transformation? It is used for looking up data in a relational table through mapping. Lookup definition from any relational database is imported from a source which has tendency of connecting client and server. One can use multiple lookup transformation in a mapping. How union transformation is used. It is a diverse input group transformation which can be used to combine data from different sources. It works like union all statement in SQL that is used to combine result set of two select statements. Can you define incremental aggregation? Option for incremental aggregation is enabled whenever a session is created for a mapping aggregate. Power Center performs incremental aggregation through the mapping and historical cache data to perform new aggregation calculations incrementally. What is the difference between a connected lookup and unconnected lookup? When the inputs are taken directly from other transformations in the pipeline it is called connected lookup. While unconnected lookup doesn't take inputs directly from other transformations but it can be used in any transformations and can be raised as a function using LKP expression. So it can be said that an unconnected lookup can be called multiple times in mapping. Can you define maplet? A recyclable object that is using maplet designer is called a maplet. It permits one to reuse the transformation logic in multitude mappings. Moreover, it also contains set of transformations. Can you explain reusable transformation? Reusable transformation is used numerous times in mapping. It is different from other mappings which use the transformation, since it is stored as a metadata. The transformations will be nullified in the mappings whenever any change in the reusable transformation is made. What does update strategy mean, and what are the different options of it? Row by row processing is done by Informatica. Every row is inserted in the target table because it is marked as default. Update strategy is used whenever the row has to be updated or inserted based on some sequence. Moreover, the condition must be specified an update strategy for the processed row to be marked as updated or inserted. What is the scenario which compels Informatica server to reject files? This happens when it faces DD reject in update strategy transformation. 
Moreover, it disrupts the database constraint filed in the rows was condensed. Why could Informatica reject certain files? This happens because Informatica uses DD reject in an update strategy. What is surrogate key? It is a replacement for the natural prime key. It is a unique identification for each row in the table. It is very beneficial because the natural primary key can change which eventually makes update more difficult. They are always used in form of a digit or integer. What are dimensional tables? These tables are a key feature when it comes to enterprises using Informatica. They are designed to help segment and describe the company's data in a hierarchical manner so that it may be easier accessed and understood. What are the prerequisite tasks to achieve the session partition? In order to perform session partition, one need to configure the session to partition source data and then installing the Informatica server machine in multifold queues. Which files are created during the session runs by Informatic server? During session runs, the files created are namely errors log, bad file, workflow low and session log. Can you define session task? It is a chunk of instruction that guides Power Center server about how and when to transfer data from sources to targets. What is use of command task? This specific task permits one or more than one shell commands in Unix or DOS in Windows to run during the workflow. What is use of standalone command task? This task can be used anywhere in the workflow to run the shell commands. Can you explain pre and post session shell command? Command task can be called as the pre or post session shell command for a session task. One can run it as pre session command or post session success command or post session failure command. Can you define predefined event? It is a file watch event. It waits for a specific file to arrive at a specific location. What is complex mapping? Complex mappings mean not a map with more than 100 transformations used in difficult requirements. Many numbers of transformations. Complex business logic. How can one identify whether mapping is correct or not without connecting session? One can find whether the session is correct or not without connecting the session is with the help of debugging option. Can one use mapping parameter or variables created in one mapping into any other reusable transformation? Yes, one can do because reusable transformation does not contain any maplet or mapping. Explain the use of aggregator cache file. Aggregator transformations are handled in chunks of instructions during each run. It stores transitional values which are found in local buffer memory. Aggregators provides extra cache files for storing the transformation values if extra memory is required. Can you explain lookup transformation? Lookup transformations are those transformations which have admission right to RDB, MS, base data set. The server makes the access faster by using the lookup tables to look at explicit table data or the database. Concluding data is achieved by matching the lookup condition for all lookup ports delivered during transformations. What is role playing dimension? The dimensions that are utilized for playing diversified roles while remaining in the same database domain are called role-playing dimensions. How can repository reports be accessed without SQL or other transformations? Repository reports are established by Metadata Reporter. There is no need of SQL or other transformation since it is a web app. What are the types of metadata that stores in a repository? The types of metadata include source definition, target definition, mappings, maplet, transformations. Can you explain code page compatibility? When data moves from one code page to another provided that both code pages have the same character sets then data loss cannot occur. All the characteristics of source page must be available in the target page. Moreover, if all the characters of source page are not present in the target page, then it would be a subset and data loss will definitely occur during transformation due to the fact that two code pages are not compatible. How can you validate all mappings in the repository simultaneously? All the mappings cannot be validated simultaneously because each time only one mapping can be validated. What is rank transformation? 
Rank transformation is a one type of an active TR which allows you to find out either top performance or bottom performers. Rank TR is created with the following types of the port. Input port I, output port O. Rank port R, variable port V, V. What are the different components of power center? Given below are the seven important components of power center. Power center service. Power center clients. Power center repository. Power Center Domain, Repository Service, Integration Service, Power Center Administration Console, Web Service Hub. What are the different clients of Power Center? Here is the list of Power Center clients. Designer, Workflow Monitor, Workflow Manager, Repository Manager, Mapping Architect for VCO. What are predefined event and user defined event? Predefined events are system-defined events that wait until the arrival of a specific file at a specific location. It is also called as file watcher event. User-defined events are created by the user to raise any time in the workflow once created. What is Informatica Power Center? It is one of the enterprise data integration products developed by Informatica Corporation, used to build and manage power center objects like SOUR and Transformation. The Power Center server executes tasks based on workflow created by workflow managers. What are different that companies are using Informatica as a tool? IBM, CTS Accenture, Amdox, HSBC, and many more. What is Informatica Power Center Repository? Power Center Repository is a relational database or a system database that contains metadata such as source definition. Target definition, session and session logs, workflow, odd connection, mapping. There are two types of repositories global repositories, local repositories. Can you explain Substar? Substar is a function in Informatica that extracts or removes a set of characters from a larger character set. Syntax, Substar, string, start length, where string defines the character that we want to search. Start is an integer that is used to set the position where the counting should get started. Length is an optional parameter that is used to count the length of a string to return from its starting position. What are the different lookup caches? Informatic lookup can be either cached or uncached. Basically, it is divided into five parts. Static cache. Dynamic cache. Shared cache. Recache. Persistent cache. What are the different tools are there in Workflow Manager? There are four types of tools. Task Designer, Task Developer, Workflow Designer, Workload Designer. What is use of PMC, MD, Utility Command? It is a command-based client program that communicates with integration service to perform some of the tasks which can also be performed using Workflow Manager client. Using PMC, MD, we can perform the following tasks. Starting workflow. Scheduling workflow. The PMC, MD, can be operated in two different modes. Interactive mode. Command line mode. How to use Power Center command line in Informatica. The transformation language provides two comment specifiers to let you insert comments and expression. The Power Center Integration Service ignores all text on a line preceded by these two comment specifiers. What TR having not asked? Look up TR. Note, prevent wait is available in any task. It is available only in event wait task. F5 start debugger. Debugger is used for test the records are loader or not, correct data is loader or not. Debugger is used only for to test valid mapping, but not invalid mapping. Like, share, and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.